frustrated that your Samsung TV won't connect to Wi-Fi while everything else is working fine? But don't worry. Today, I'll share quick fixes you can try right away. Try a quick power cycle. Unplug the TV, then hold down the power button. While holding the power button, plug the TV back in until it restarts. Still not working? Don't worry, I've got other methods. And if all else fails, a quirky but effective trick at the end. If that quick fix didn't solve the issue, here are step-by-step -step solutions you can try to get things working again. First, cold boot your TV. Unplug your TV from the wall. Press the power button for at least 30 seconds until all residual power discharge, then wait another 1 min 2, and then plug it back in and turn it on. Look for a red light on the front to confirm it's rebooting. If the issue is not fixed, then let's move on to the next step. Check date and time settings. Head to settings, then device preferences and select date and time. Make sure it's set to automatic date and time and choose use network provider time. Now try reconnecting to Wi-Fi. Adjust location settings. Go to settings, then device preferences and select location. Set it to use Wi-Fi to estimate location. Try connecting to Wi-Fi again. Still not working? Try another power cycle on your TV. Press and hold the power button for 15 to 30 seconds until the TV restarts. This often helps reset any connection issues. If none of these methods resolve the issue, here are some last options you can try. Go to settings then general and select reset. Use the default pin 40. Reset your router. Locate the reset button on your router. Hold it for about 10 seconds then try reconnecting your TV. If you've tried every troubleshooting method and still can't connect, here's a quirky tip from Reddit that surprisingly worked for many Samsung TV owners. Just lightly tap the bottom center of your TV near the Samsung logo. Yep, it sounds strange, but this old school smack actually helped some users get their Wi-Fi working instantly. Give it a try as a last resort and let us know if it works for you. If nothing else worked, it could be an internal hardware issue. As a temporary solution, try connecting with an Ethernet cable until you can get it checked by a technician. Let us know in the comments if these tips worked for you, or feel free to ask any questions. We're here to help.